Hi, I'm Ken Edwards. And I'm Dane Rakestraw. We're with Keystone Steel & Wire. Manufactures a Red Brand Agricultural Fence product. We're here today to talk about field fence installation. The steps we're going to show you today will make sure your fence looks great and lasts a long time. Once you have your fence line established, your braces built, and your post set, it's time to install woven field fence. To do that, we recommend installing a dummy brace to pull off of as opposed to anything artificial. The benefits of a dummy brace allows the pulling force of the fence to be transferred back into the permanent brace. Pulling with a tractor or pickup truck is not recommended. A dummy brace is a temporary system and by dropping the post in the hole we're just going to leave it loose in the hole for right now. We're going to construct this by, by drilling a hole higher than the fence wire will be and pinning this system together just by drilling holes in the cross member and the permanent brace and then through the dummy brace which is all illustrated here. We're using a 3 8 drill bit because we're going to use 3 8 3 8 brace pins. And this thing's just going to pin together and, and again when we get done we're going to we're going to take this thing apart and reuse this system for our next installation. Here I'm siding up the, the hole for the, for the first hole that I drilled into the permanent brace assembly. This hole will be drilled all the way through. And again, keep in mind this whole system here that I'm building is a temporary system. So as you can see, there's, there's holes drilled in both ends of the cross member. One in the corner post, the permanent corner post and then one all the way through the dummy brace post, the vertical dummy brace post. Using a 3 8 brace pin, which we used on building our braces. We're using the 10 inch brace pins to pin this system together. You can get these at your local ag supply store. Slip the cross member over the first pin in the permanent corner post. Line it up with your dummy brace post. And then just tap the, the 10 inch brace pin into the cross member. And as you can see, this is higher than the permanent brace cross member. It allows so you can wrap the fence around it, not run into the post or run into the cross member. Here, you can use a couple pieces of scrap lumber just to shim this post up. You're just gonna, you wanna make it kinda, kinda sturdy. Unroll the wire, leaving enough product to wrap around the post. When unrolling the wire, make sure that you have either an extra hand or something keeping the wire from rolling back up. Rolling yeah, back that'll up. happen. Next, stand the product up, normally at your first line post, and this will allow you to, to be able to work a little easier when you go to wrap the wire around the corner post. You notice here we've got enough excess to make sure we wrap, have enough to wrap. You'll need to strip your vertical wires to have enough horizontal wire to wrap around to itself. Wrap each horizontal wire back to itself four to five wraps. A fence tool may make this process easier. And there's a variety of fence tools out on the market today. Um, definitely a great investment if you plan on putting up a decent amount of fence. It just saves a lot on your fingers and, and makes for a nice wrap, nice looking job. Here's an example of the finished product. 